In the hot April sun, you only need one remote control to feel the cool air. But have you ever wondered, where does that air conditioner come from? Who assembled it? What technology helps it save electricity, operate smoothly, and last so long? Today, I will take you into the Daikin factory in Vietnam, where millions of air conditioners are produced each year, not only for the domestic market, but also for export throughout Southeast Asia. What do you think Japanese technology will be like in Vietnam? Manual or fully automatic? Let's find out. People often think high-tech manufacturing can only be located in Japan, Korea, or at least China. But the truth is, Japan is shifting production, and Vietnam is the strategic destination. With a favorable geographical location, abundant technical labor resources, and especially the increasingly close Vietnam-Japan relationship, Daikin did not hesitate to invest more than 100 million USD to build their largest factory in Hanoi. This is not just a manufacturing plant, but a statement of belief. Daikin believes that Vietnamese people can make Japanese products that meet global standards. Entering the factory, the first feeling is not the noisy sound of machines, but the precise silence of robots. Here, more than 60% of the process is fully automated. You will see robots welding copper pipes with errors calculated in micrometers. Each condenser after being assembled is checked by an automatic pressure sensor system. In particular, the new lines apply digital twin technology, creating a digital copy of the entire system, helping engineers predict errors before they occur. When do you think the factory will no longer need humans, or will humans and robots operate together in harmony? The interesting thing is, Daikin Vietnam factory not only assembles but also researches. A specialized R&D center is built right on the factory premises. Young Vietnamese engineers are directly involved in the product design process to adapt the air conditioner to the climate, humidity and usage habits in Southeast Asia. From fine-tuning the airflow, reducing noise, to optimizing the temperature sensor, all are tested in extreme simulation rooms. How long do you think it will be before Vietnam not only manufactures but also exports technology back to Japan?
While the world is talking about sustainable development, Daikin has been quietly doing it in Vietnam. 20% of the factory's electricity comes from solar energy. Wastewater is recycled almost 100%. In particular, product packaging is switching to 100% plastic free. Components are also designed to be easy to disassemble and easy to recycle after the product's life cycle ends. A factory that not only makes products, but also leaves a positive mark on the environment. That is the direction that I truly respect. From this factory, hundreds of containers are exported every month to the Philippines, Thailand, Indonesia. That proves one thing. Vietnam is no longer a place for outsourcing, but a central link in the global value chain. Many experts say, in the context of China facing many risks in the supply chain, Vietnam is the number one alternative. In the next 10 years, can Vietnam become the smart factory of Southeast Asia? Daikin aims to fully digitize its factories in Vietnam by 2030. Each product will be assigned an identification code, tracking the entire life cycle from production to recycling. Robots will not replace humans, but support and collaborate. AI will help predict errors, coordinate production, and even make maintenance decisions before machines break down. Do you think a factory without management operating only by AI is feasible? An air conditioner? Seemingly simple is the result of technology, people, and a great vision. What do you think about Daikin factories? And which factory do you want me to explore next? Leave a comment.